Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 6 NFL Previews and Analysis. This video is for the game between the Oakland Raiders and the Kansas City Chiefs, an AFC West rivalry here that will take place at Arrowhead Stadium. The Chiefs are 5-0, Oakland on an upstart 2-3. And, and when I say an upstart 2-3 for Oakland, I think we can all agree that, at least from an offensive standpoint, this team is a lot further along than they were last year. Terrell Pryor brings a dimension to that offense that, quite frankly, they haven't had in a long time. Uh, he makes everyone better around him, including Darren McFadden when he's healthy. Uh, the one thing I have a concern for in Oakland in this game is they have let up 18 sacks this season. And when you're going up against a team that leads the league in sacks with 21, I think that could eventually be a problem if Oakland's not able to get out fast and get a lead on Kansas City. Then they could kind of focus on the running attack. Oakland's defense gets better every week. Um, you know, this is certainly not a great unit. I don't know if they'll be able to stop Jamal Charles and Dwayne Bow on the outside, but we'll see. Uh, but again, this is not a unit that's been like dreadful like they have been uh, at least last year. So I think the Raiders are trending upwards. I think this is a tough matchup for them, though, because you know the Chiefs are not going to take them lightly. It's a rivalry game. I went through how I really like these Chiefs pass rushers against this Raiders offensive line. I like it anyway, and never mind if Stefan Wisniewski is not able to go again this week, even if he is able to go. Just the pressure they're going to put from all angles, whether it's a Justin Houston, whether it's a Tamba Ali on the outside, whether it's a Don Terry Poe on the inside. You know, they and you know, and also of note is the fact that the Chiefs did play against a, a spread type team in the Eagles. And they were able to contain the Eagles and Michael Vick and LaShawn McCoy and Deshaun Jackson because of the speed that that Chiefs defense poses. And I think against you saw against a slower defense in San Diego the success that Pryor and that offense was able to have. I think against a fast defense here with Kansas City that can rush the pass rusher, I think that's the wrong mix right now um, for Oakland to play, quite frankly. I, I like the Chiefs in this game, again, because I know they're not going to take Oakland lightly. Um, you know, and I think San Diego walked in there, was looked a little shell-shocked at first, but I don't think that'll happen to Kansas City. I like Kansas City minus 9.5 at home to beat the Raiders. This is not a knock on the Raiders, though. I still like the future is very bright, I feel, for Terrell Pryor. I've taken a complete 360 on him uh, as far as my feelings about him as a quarterback. I don't think he's great, but I think he's very good, and he's getting better every game. This will be one of those learning type of games for him, though. Tough environment. Tough team, toughest defense he's played so far on the road. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview every game every week. I recap every game every week. And I'm always talking the news of the day in the NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. And have a great night.